What's up guys, SHOT Show 2022. We are sitting down with Tim with Chris Reeve Knives. Guys, let's talk knives. All right guys, we are sitting down with Tim Reeve of Chris Reeve Knives. Dude, Tim, always a pleasure. Always. Appreciate always. it, man. Yeah, it's great to be back you know, in the show world again. Right? I like yeah. it too. I, I always get excited with shows because I get to come see all my homies. Yeah, you that's really what, I mean? what it is. And then we get to play with toys and share toys. Exactly. And big toys to small toys. And, right? Yeah, I and love all the friends, so. Yeah. All right, man, so I mean, I'll just let you kind of take over whatever you want to show us. Yeah, you know, a lot of people are always, always like, what's new, what's new, what's new? You know, if you know the brand, you follow us, like, Rarely do we have new models coming right. out, so don't necessarily have a new model, but something that ha is is fresh and kind of new in the, the CRK world. We, we brought out a new finish. Um, look, this isn't gonna you know make clean energy or like you know fix world problems or anything like that, but it's just kind of cool and new. I think it's a little bit of a modern take. We call it a glass blast finish. Um, it's done right on top of the the kind of classic sandblasting that you're known like we're known for. Um, this is a, an aluminum oxide finish. We just call it sandblast. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of the, the difference right there that you can see. Um, the benefits, uh, you don't really have a, a reduction necessarily in the the, tack, the the grip. Like it's not sliding out of your hand or anything like that. Right. But it doesn't snail trail as, as, as easily or as, or as bad. Kind of pocket polishes in the corners. Um, doesn't tear up your jeans. You know, you get Sebenza jeans right. and, and suddenly your, your Sebenza is like halfway to your knee, you yeah. know, because your pocket's all worn out. So, you know, just something that I've been playing with. Um, it was actually Bill Conan kind of tuned me into it. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's the same finish he puts on his knives. And so we thought, hey, let's let's play with it. So, yeah. Let me it's show just you guys the, new. the contrast, the difference. Yeah. And so, like, it's an option. You can you can order the knives with it. You can send in old knives and we can do it for you. You know, it's a oh, little wow. bit of a turnaround that's, time that's on really that. That's really cool. Yeah. There's some knives that, that it's a little, you know, some, some of our odd knives, it's a little bit... You know, but basically, like, standard knives, we can do it for you. We'll let you know what we can't do it on. Um, and then we've moved it to, like, our wood inlays as a whole. So um, it just fits with the wood, the gentleman kind of aesthetic, the sleekness, the kind of that whole thing. Oh, yeah. Um, you well, know what I mean? That's that's what you guys do. And yeah, you I mean, do it well. We, we, we put a toe in that pond. I'll put it yeah. that way. So, <laughs> yeah. you know, we've we also this year brought up... We, all of our wood inlays up till now have... Uh, have have had polished handles and polished blades and kind of always kept it to that. Just this year at Blade I think we've we brought out the option to be able to have a fully blasted handle and then a tumble blade with it. I know it's not, again, big beans for some people, but this is huge news for some, some right. folks that have wanted it. Um, so we're doing that same crushed glass uh, finish on that as well, on, on those as well. One of the problems for the longest time is, is with wood inlays, it's hard to restore them and refurbish them. Like we do a, a lifelong spa service, right? So with oh, a plain okay. handled knife, like you can send it in, we can re sandblast it, you can retumble plates, things like that, and get it, you know, spick and span again. I love that. Well, with inlays, especially exotic woods, you can't get that inlay out. It's VHB taped in there. It's it's they're delicate, that kind of stuff. And so it's hard to like you can't repolish it and yeah. reblast it. Yeah, main, you can't yeah. pull it out and maintain it and put it back in. Exactly. And so so there's kind of limits to what we can do servicing with these, um, servicing wise with these. So with with having Having the crushed glass, it's a little more resilient to that kind of wear and tear. So I think it, it lends itself to it. So all of the wood inlays, all of the Amnundis, our other model, are going to go to that crushed glass. Um, and and I think it's it's just kind of a fun thing. Again, we're not saving you know babies or curing the hunger or like a lot of other big problems in the world. But it's a fun little thing like from Chris Reeves. But you know what? You guys are kind of solving the uh, let's make a good knife problem. We're trying. No, you guys are, are killing it. Certainly killing are trying, it. So. I, I absolutely love the knives you guys make. I mean, you guys know this is standard above and beyond what the majority of people in the knife industry are are wanting to do. You guys have been doing it for years. Yeah, for a little while. Yeah, yeah. a couple decades now. A couple decades, no big deal. So, yeah. No, Dude, that's really fun. Yeah. So it's, it's just kind of fun. I mean, a lot of people have been asking about it. It's like... You get asked maybe by our customer service crew, well, is it sandblast or glass blast? You're like, I have no idea, you know. Right. And so, uh, or you see it on an order form or something like that. We try to explain it pretty well on the on our website or like in our Facebook groups and stuff. But it is kind of like a more nuancey 
thing, so to have yeah. a little longer conversation might help. So I, I hope that helps. Um, oh, I absolutely. I think it's something that's pretty cool. It works really good on planes. I think the Unums on it looks killer on with those, and that's kind of why I grabbed the Unums on out of the case because yes. it's got that that, that pattern that on there, pattern. and it looks really cool. So, and there's some guys that are like have checked out the new one, and they're like, "Hey, I like the old one better." And and it's great. That's great. Like, personal preference. That's the fun thing about the knives. You right. know, it's like there's dudes that don't even like my brand, and like, cool man, like yeah. you you probably like a knife somewhere in you know, out there, and that's yeah. that's what it comes down to, you know. I don't... So. This is a texture that everybody who's held the Sabenza, they know this texture. Yeah. Yep. This is like a refined, smoother, just that much more. Just ugh. you could actually put that knife in your slacks and and not be worried about having exactly. to get a new pair when you pull yeah. it back out. <laughs> yeah. No. I honestly, I I love it. I think this has been a huge move. I know a ton of you guys out there are going to love this new finish. I know I do. Yeah, uh, it's been sure. well received, well received. So, uh, in some ways, someone somebody said the other day, it's kind of like a it's, it's a modern feel. And it's, and it's it like, is. yeah, I think it's uh, there's a lot of knives that are doing like a similar kind of thing. So, I get it. You know, little little steps, right? Little steps. Absolutely love it, man. Thank you so much for letting us come by. I. I love talking with you guys. Tim is such a cool guy. You guys got to meet him. Go to a show. Meet him in person. Super down to earth. Super fun to talk to you. Dude, thanks for coming by. It's yeah. always a pleasure. I appreciate Thank it. You, man. Cheers. All right, guys. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, check out the playlist for other 2022 SHOT Show videos, and we will catch you on the next one.